Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. And this week I wanna to talk to you guys about your fall through and some key positions that a lot of players are missing. I also wanna show you guys how you can practice this and how you can feel the correct positions. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you are visiting my channel for the first time, please subscribe to see more golf related content in the future. So I wanna start off by explaining some key movements that I think are important with the fall through and the movements that I typically look for when I'm teaching my students. And then I'll demonstrate and maybe give you some clarity as to what the lower handicap players tend to do versus what higher handicap players tend to do. So the first movement that's really important for the fall through is the shift in pressure or weight into your lead side. Okay, so now there's a correct way to do it and there's an incorrect way to do it. So your follow through is when your trail arm gets about parallel with the ground into the fall through. And whenever you see a better player or a lower, ha lower handicap player, you'll see that the way that they move their, the pressure into the lead side or their weight into the lead side is that they keep their head relatively in the same spot. And you see that their lower body moves uh, more laterally to the left, okay? And by the time their right arm gets to parallel, their hip is gonna be more or less over top of their lead foot, okay? Now, the higher handicap players, what they tend to do is that they, they have a harder time transferring their weight into their lead side. So their hip is gonna appear more behind their lead foot. Now, the second important movement for the follow through is extension. So that is literally going from a bent forward position to a bent backwards position. That's what uh, extension is. In the follow through, as I get my pressure more into the lead side by keeping my head in the same spot, hips moving more laterally to the left, my body will begin to bend backwards. So my hip's gonna go forward, my upper body's gonna bend backwards. So I'm, I'm very much extended um, in, in the follow through like this. So if I had a club in my hand, all right, I kinda like, like, look like this. My belt appears to point high and my chest point, uh, appears to point very high. Now based on the majority of people that I've taught, the extension piece in the follow through is what people struggle with the most. Now, most commonly, the mistake would be for everything to be bent more forward. So I, I'll see that their hips are more bent forward, their chest is bent forward, even sometimes their necks um, are, are bent forward like this. Okay, so it kind of look very much like this. Now, being in this position can be limiting in many ways uh, in terms of your ability to produce speed, to rotate through the golf shot, to keep your arms extended, and it's actually the easiest way to cause damage um, or injury to your lower back. Now what's interesting is that the lateral movement of the hip is gonna aid in your ability to extend but more backwards. If your hips stay back or move more away from the target, it'll be very difficult to kind of get your upper body to extend backwards. But you'll find that the more that you get push your hips forward towards the target, it becomes easier or more natural um, for you to be more extended. So this is definitely a piece of the follow through that you guys should pay close attention to. Um, and if you can extend properly, it'll actually be a much more healthy for your back in the long run. Now the third movement is rotation. So in the fall through, what I also like to see is that after someone strikes the golf ball, you can see that the chest and their belt faces more or less right at the target. And the mistake a lot of people make with this is that at some point their turns kind of stall and their arms and wrists take over and they kind of throw their the, the club head at the ball like this. So when this happens, um, it'll tend to create more of a disconnect between the body and the arms, uh, which will create more variability. And it'll also, in a lot of cases, promote people to be more bent forward into their fall throughs. So we definitely wanna make sure that as you strike the ball and as you go through it, that your body continues to go through and, and continues to turn um, uh, with your arms more. So overall, these are the three movements that I like to look for. Uh, with all of my players. And yes, there can be smaller details um, with the follow through, but as long as I can get my players to have the correct blend of these three things, then they're 90% of the way there. Overall, after I strike it and get into the follow through, weight goes into the lead side, hip is more or less up, uh, on top of my lead foot, my body is bent back, and my body, uh, chest and belt is facing more, more so at the target, okay? So um, give those three things a try, and I'm gonna share with you a, a very good way to practice these movements. Okay, so for this drill, you don't really need to make a swing. Uh, you, you can if you want to, but this drill is to more 
uh, just preset you into the right follow through position. Okay, so what you can do, you can do this with a club or you can do this without it. Knowing what the first movement is, the first movement is obviously just getting your weight uh, and your hip into the lead side. So that's what you're going to do first. So you're just going to stand straight up. You're just going to put all of your weight into the lead side. Okay, you're just going to try and keep your head in the same spot. So you're just pushing your hip into your lead side. So the majority of the weight is there. Okay, the next thing that you're going to do um, is that while you're holding it, you're just going to turn and just, just face just face the target. In this position, you also want to make sure that you're kind of standing straight up. You, you don't want to be in this position with any bend in the knees, any forward bend whatsoever. You actually want to stand very, very straight up, if not maybe a little bit backwards. Okay. Now, the last thing that you're going to do um, is you're just going to bend to the right Okay, or, or towards your trail side. Okay. So once you're in this position, then you can go back and, and just keep your arms out. Okay. And this is going to give you a really good sense and feel for where the follow through position should be by the time your right arm is about parallel with the ground. So after setting yourself in this position, it should give you a good feeling of where to try and end up after you strike the ball. So once you practice that drill and you take a few practice swings, you can try and end up um, in that position that you tried to feel out. So give this drill a try and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, you can leave a comment down below. If you haven't already, you can follow me on my Instagram at Jonathan K. Moss. If you want to inquire about online lessons, I will also leave a link to my website in the description box below. But other than that, I will see you guys next week.